Do you have a rat problem right now? If you do, you're not alone. Rat complaints made to the city have skyrocketed this spring. The reason experts say is the coronavirus pandemic. Political editor Carol Marine reports the numbers tell the story. Robin Marion, the numbers are enough to make even the faint of heart go eek. Rats, they are everywhere, it seems. Complaints to the city in the month of May jumped by 46 percent, according to records released by the Department of Streets and Sanitation. But hang on, says Streets and Sands' Josie Cruz. It doesn't mean that there's a lot more rats. People are seeing them and they're calling. Seeing them because we are all home to see them. And what with restaurants shut down for the past three months, rats needed a new food supply. The restaurants are closed. Uh, people are still, you know, putting garbage in the dumpsters. They're still putting stuff there. Rats are just looking for a food source. In May, the Centers for Disease Control first reported the closed restaurant phenomenon, and a public records request bears it out. Complaints in Chicago for the year are up 35 percent. The month of May saw an increase of over a thousand complaints, explaining that 46 percent spike. So the city's surge is your surge too? Yes. Yes, it is. For the last 17 years, John Bombard has been chasing rats. Rose Pest Solution, where he works, set a record for residential calls in the month of May, he says, and adds, it really doesn't matter where you live. Rats right now are a bigger pest than normal for homeowners. Customers calling us that didn't have an issue before that have rat burrows in their backyards, you know, burrowing under, under porches and decks and things like that. Two disgusting things to know about rats. They could have a litter every six weeks, and without a food supply, they can, well... Will you explain the cannibalism part of this story? Okay. The alpha males of the clan will also have become cannibalistic. They'll eat their babies. They'll eat their babies. And then there's this. Not only are rat complaints up, but calls for removal of dead animals are up 22 percent. But Deputy Commissioner Cruz again says that doesn't necessarily mean there are more dead animals. Teresa San is responsible for every corpse and every yes. rat. Every bird, anything that you see out there that's an animal, people are calling and we'll pick it up. And she implores all of us to pick up after our pets immediately close those bins, and when you see a rat, call 311 pronto. Carol Marine, NBC5 News. Right, thanks to Carol and all those city workers doing all that work.